TV. My name is Delany Peace, and my co-host KT could not be here today. Um, however, look who we have again. Hello, everybody. I, I, I know I'm not KT, but Matt Matt here. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to uh, pinch it for KT. Yay! For You're doing a great Thank job, and we you. just really love Thank that you. shirt. Let's talk about that shirt well, for a minute. Yeah, Matt, I got Matt. a little grief about this shirt <laughs> coming in here, but actually, you know, this is an, an Oregon duck shirt. The the ducks right. from University. University of Oregon and Eugene, okay. and I have family up there, and I, I like the ducks. So, cool. So, you know, that's where this is coming you from. You like the ducks? All right, so I save do. the ducks, guys. Matt, Matt likes the Is that, like that going to be your new social platform? Save the ducks? Save well, the well, ducks. No, I mean, I do like the ducks. I mean, because the, <laughs> their main rivalry is the beavers, which is Oregon State beavers. I say save the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say, I'd save them both. Save them both. <laughs> save them both. <laughs> okay, fine. So, anyway, oh, enough about us, by the way. Okay. <laughs> So we have a very special guest today, and of course this is the after show. The after show of our second episode of She's Too Fat. Stop trying to fit in with the fat girls. And we have our star here, uh, yeah. little Miss Rochelle McKeevy. <laughs> and she, oh my gosh, I can't say enough about this episode. Um, oh. You are incredible. Thank so, uh, but before we go on about the episode, because I can't say enough about it, uh, tell everybody about yourself. <laughs> okay, sure. So, my name is Rochelle McKeevy. Um, I am an actress, and I guess as of last year, I'm a writer and producer as well, yes. trying to create more content. Yes. Um, so, I've been acting for a very long, th uh, long time. Uh, theater is my passion, mm -hmm. my heart. Um, but like I said, I started to get into some writing, into some producing. Cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Cool. So, where are you from? I am from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh -huh. um, I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but I was raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. So okay. I represent uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Nice. And then you have some family on the East Coast. Yes. Is I that have, right? Yes. Okay. I have family um, on the East Coast, Washington, D.C. area, also okay. in the South, uh, South Carolina, Georgia. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Like this is my fam over here. Yes. I felt the connection just yeah. so quickly. So um, what got you into acting? Um... Actually, it was, I was in elementary school, mm -hmm. and my older brother was in a school play. He played Scrooge in A Christmas Carol, <laughs> and I was like, what is this? I had already been doing, like, dance, tap, and ballet, right. but then uh -huh. when I saw that, I was like, I want to do that. So the next year, I asked my fourth grade teacher, like, I want to be in a school play. I want, I want <laughs> us to do a school play, and she was like... Okay, so I spearheaded it. And, and there you go. And there we go. What? The rest is history. All you had to say was, I want to be in a school <laughs> yeah, play. Yeah, I and had that's the best it. teacher. So you, Shout out to Miss Murphy. Um, wow. Still remember her. But yeah, she was so supportive. That's amazing. You were already a producing. Yeah. Person, you know? that's we need true. to make this happen. Yeah, that's, already... that's your producer. Well, that's why I it's never come back to you now. That. With, uh, wow. with, with, um, since we're talking about producing, with it's it's called Mirrors, right? Or is it? Yes, it's Mirrors. mirrors yes. That, that's your latest uh, work that you created. Right? Yes, last year I produced, uh, I wrote and produced a short film called Mirrors, mm -hmm. um, and it is now circling the film festivals, which is exciting. Yes. Yes. So exciting! Not an easy thing to do, right? No, no. not at all. And a lot of work. A lot yeah. of work. And t figuring out which ones to send them to, and then it can get a little. Let's be honest. Sometimes a little pricey. It's a little you know, pricey. Yes. You know, so. yes. Yes. But I know it's gone into quite a few. Yeah. yeah. So it's awesome. It, What's yeah. the log line? Give us a little quick. Um, so <clears throat> it's basically about uh, a young woman who's been given the opportunity of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And she has to decide uh, whether or not she's going to pursue this opportunity. What happens is the pressure from whether or not she's going to do this or not. It uh, has created kind of some, some memories. Uh, she kind of thinks about memories from her childhood and mm. things that's has happened to her mm -hmm. so basically the gist of it is how we allow things from our childhood to debilitate uh, us when we become adults yeah. and stop us from it. doing things that we were called and destined to do because wow. of things that happened to us when we we're younger that right. we we're still holding on to yeah so I mean that's a long 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 lot a log line <laughs> no, but, but, no, <laughs> but I, that's pretty much like I have to see this yeah I have to see and I love things about yeah. I, I I mean Dylan you know this but I love things about me is literally the mirror right but also i like just the sim symbolic quality of the mm -hmm. mirror i mean because yeah. and memories and reflections right. yeah. i do too you know. how do we look at ourselves right. totally. how Which is do what we, we see ourselves and that's what a lot of our film is too right I think. oh when absolutely when, we're, when we go into a theater some people would even say 
that's our mirror our, mm. because we're, oh, look, yeah. we're looking Absolutely. at what's up there so and also just things like seeing ourselves and things or seeing something that really like uh influences us or affects us like you seeing your brother in scrooge yeah that made that made prompted you to say wait a second if you get my brother gonna do that yeah. i want to do that yeah. Yeah. what's yeah. this about so but um that actually your your mirrors it makes me think of um and this is a movie that has stayed with me forever um requiem for a dream oh, yeah, did you see it yeah. okay so yeah, like there's this lady heavy, right? who gets an opportunity and she, uh, through the mail that she's what like gonna be oh, a contestant the, on the a mother, game show yeah, yeah. yeah. and she's an older woman and then but the idea of being a contestant on a game show it, it gets to her like it changed like i i can't help but think that like whatever she was conditioned to think she, her her the expectations were to be on tv like that look what it did right yeah. like i so it, that's really deep that's a thing yeah yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people that have seen it come out and they're just they come to me and they're like I, 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 they basically are sharing stuff that they've experienced. Right. Oh my gosh, this made me realize I need to let some stuff go that mm -hmm. I've been holding on to. Or yeah. so that's the type of work I want to create is yes. like stuff when people watch it and they leave, they're thinking, they're challenging themselves, mm -hmm. they're you know just moved. Right. By it. Yeah. No, I have cold chills talking about this. I, I, I want as soon as it's off of the festival. Oh yes, yeah, we want yes, to like, let us know. I'm, yes, I definitely. Yeah, will. and then there's also the great thing about LA is there's a lot of like venues, especially when you're off the festival run. You could screen it. Exactly. You know what I mean? You plan. can have people come and like we'll come celebrate that's, you. Yeah. That's exactly what I plan to uh, do. This is so great. We have great. so many talented people on She's Too Fat. I know. What were we thinking? Yeah. I mean, what? who who does that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but let's go into this very amazing episode. Stop trying. Well, why don't you say You say it so well. <laughs> go ahead. Say it for it. Like, <laughs> Stop trying to fit in with the fat girls. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Yeah, so Rochelle, uh, what attracted you to audition for this? Like, what was going on when you saw the casting notice? Well, when I saw it, I just, I, I felt like, well, first of all, when I submitted for the role, I was like, this would be a fun role. Like, mm -hmm. the whole frenemy. Right. Um, I'm not really one to, like, kind of go against the grain. I'm, I, I have a lot of positive energy, mm. so I'm not really one <laughs> to be that person to right. kind of be the negative right. energy. So I thought for, as an actor, it would Ooh. be a good challenge for yeah. me to kind of be something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. But the bigger picture, I, I just felt like this, I knew and I felt that this was something that the world needed to see. We need to start addressing this. We need mm. to start talking about it. Right. I love the boldness of the title i was like i need to walk with her whoever this the, is the title. she is bold she, yeah. she is fierce and so i was like i want to be a part of that because she's going to create dialogue mm -hmm. that is going to change the world is going to change hollywood so I, I was like, you were all in. I was like, okay, let me get. I was, I was so focused on on my Girl. self tape and everything. I'm not, no, idea. your focus came through. Yeah. I have to tell you, like, so many people auditioned right. for this. Like, oh, even and... in the last hour, we were getting like de the deadline was, and we still had actresses. It, was it wasn't pitch. just through Actors Access. We had oh. actresses through Instagram, through oh, Facebook. Wow. We had like it was I, in the fifties or sixties. We or had some. Well, more I mean, than just that. for that role. Like, oh, for that role, yeah. yeah I it know was overall, still, we had like it was. We, we had, had over. 800, yeah. 850 people for, for, yeah. for the entire yeah. season. For your role, we had way more than 50 or 60 no, actresses, though. Like but, 100, like, yeah. it was insane. Wow. Like, they were even just trying to meet that deadline for your role. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it it's was still, like, it, yeah. It's well, like, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> Good job, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, well, no, because we have to fix that problem. Yeah, we, we do. right? We so do. it, And I'm like you, where I want to, through my art, I want to change things. You yeah. know what I mean? And um, But her audition, you guys. Like, oh. man. Knocked out the park. Got me. Well, it did, and it was weird, too, because, like, you know, as an actress, you can read things differently, and you can easily make something, like, flat or, like, just a one le one level, one layer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, you, you can ask Matt, Matt, and KT every time I watch your audition, the waterworks. Oh. Cried yeah. and cried. Very true. You hit me to the core. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's funny because now we're talking about childhood stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what it is about your performance, but I was like, she's really getting me in my gut. Like, this yeah. is. It's it, like, what is happening here? And I, was I that girl? 
or how many women have been that way to me? You know yeah, what I mean? And I'm you sure just, part of you was that girl at least. Oh my gosh. Like she just, I, I, it was you. It, oh, it was always you. you. I just have to tell you, there was no question. Oh, I was going to fight you. to the death to <laughs> have you be, you know. And we had a lot of, we had a lot friend. of good ones too. I mean, we had so, so many great actresses. None of the choices were easy. None of it. No. But you're, you're the one who just, I couldn't, like it was uncontrollable. I was like, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> this was just a one off. Nope. Just. Yeah, because it's yeah. that character is so layered because on the outside you would think, oh, she, you know, she just is a little, you know, right. has this little nasty attitude or, totally. you know, but yeah. deep down inside it's just she's in a lot of pain. She's hurting yeah. because yeah. it's like she feels like it's either, it, it, all of us are not getting in, only one of us out yeah. of the 50 one. are getting in yep. this room and Scarcity. it has to be yeah. me. And she just feels, so I, I wanted to show that vulnerability as yes. well, that it wasn't just like she's just this angry, mad person. Exactly. But that, no, deep down inside, she's totally, really you got like, it. you know, Yeah, you did sad. it. And a lot, I mean, every episode is based on real life experiences. This one was based on, um, there's a lot of that that happens. There's so many, right? Yeah. And, but there was one that was at the top of this these experiences that I was at a very big audition for a huge network. And a, a friend of me was there, and mm. she thwarted my audition. She got me so riled and nerved right before I had to right. go in, and she was so cruel to me. And she was just like, and she, and it was in that fashion. Oh, mm, I, I've been getting this, and oh, what have you been up to? I haven't really, you know what I mean. Yeah. And to have to go into the audition and sh you, your focus, to try to yeah. shake, I was not focused. Yeah. And it was so bad where the the casting people were like, you know, we. We didn't expect you to memorize your lines. You can pick up your your script or your sides, and because I had like memorized, yeah, you're good you know. At and sometimes they don't want you to. You just never know. It's always going right. to be off book. You know yeah. what I mean? But like I couldn't even get through it. And then they actually the next day that casting, that same casting, they put it up again. And then they had a note, and I knew it was because of my audition. They said, oh. we, we want you to not be... They said something like, we, we want you to not be intimidated that we're such a big casting network. Oh. Or mm. a network, not casting. But the point is, is that they thought that I was intimidated by auditioning for yeah. such a big network. Yeah, had nothing to do... Nothing to do I don't care. Yeah. I do not care. It could be the Super Bowl. That's great. But yeah. it was the woman before the audition that that basically just thwarted the whole thing like she and she knew what she was doing and what we both did she didn't get the role either so mm -hmm. it was like it, we both just basically brought each other down exactly yeah. it, like it, what, who won Right. We, exactly. You know what I mean? So the, this episode is very important to me. Yeah. I mean, they all are, but this one is one where it's like women get it together. We <laughs> so, have to support yeah. there's power in unity, you know? Totally. And I feel like when we're so, ad, ad, you know, disruptive amongst one another, mm -hmm. we don't focus on the cause. We don't focus nope. on progressing things, yeah. you know? And I feel like that's the situation. Mm -hmm. No one got in the room. We right. need advocates in the room. Yep. We need to be in the rooms. You mm -hmm. know, we need allies so that even... Even if you're not plus size, but mm -hmm. you can advocate for us True. as plus size women, you know, That's, being yeah. casted in these different roles. And so it just, it does no good. Right. And like you said, at the end of the day, no one got in. So Nobody, like, yeah. And then also, like, could you imagine going to one of those castings where it's for weight loss or something to um, enhance or improve your looks? And as a, like, a group, just everybody in that room, just walk in the waiting room, just get up and go and say, we're not doing this. Exactly. Like, that yeah. is a protest. Exactly. We, I mean, I want to do that, but I just know that how this game is in Hollywood, a lot of women are going to still do it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it sucks because it's like, we will actually succeed more if we walk away from this. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe we can start an underground thing doing that. I don't know. Maybe Everybody she's too fat is them around there. Yeah, yeah you never know. Two. So, um, did you, um, I, I, so you sound like you did, you knew about this experience yourself. Has mm -hmm. that ever happened to you right before an audition? It hasn't happened to me before an audition, but I've definitely um, been impacted by. I think for me, it's thrown me in an audition in mm -hmm. the sense of if they're asking for someone who is plus size mm -hmm. and to go in and then it's nothing but skinny people. Mm -hmm. And then you're, you're like, well, <laughs> it, it throws me because then I'm like, well, what's their definition or what right. are they looking right. for? And in that case, it has like... It's just throw me to make me feel like I'm still like, why am I here? Right. Like, there, I don't see any diversity in this right. casting at all. And like then what? it's just like it's a just, ten. Yeah. It's like I am not a size ten. Yeah. yeah I'm like maybe the profile thought you know maybe they thought looking at my picture. I'm, yeah. I don't know, but it's just 
to me, it's just when you don't see that, that variety. And yeah. I'm like, what am I, the wild card? Like, yeah. what is this? You but know, I'm also... It, that's thrown me. Yeah, yeah, and a former version of myself when I was not comfortable in my body, I would sit in the in the casting office uh, with the other women, and I didn't know that I was doing this thing that causes harm, but I would be looking at another woman and comparing our bodies and going, well, mm. I'm not as big as her, or she's too small, or, you yeah. know, I have the... I Hourglass shape, or like yep. this is what's gonna get me, and th I didn't realize how evil that type mm. of even thinking was. Yeah. Where I was still like, I'd still be your friend, but I'm gonna get the part because my body's either bigger or smaller or better or by societal standards. Yeah, but that stuff is oppressing us, you guys. It's it oppressing is. us. It it's the patriarchy. Okay, I'm well, gonna get started. <laughs> no, and what I what KT's I, probably glad she's not at the table right now. Yeah. When I say patriarchy, yeah. she's like Bellany, stop. Well, what, yeah. what I hear though too is. And I, of course, it's a big learning curve for me. And mm -hmm. I, but it's like there's so much talk about literally body, you know, like, yeah. you know, because that's unfortunately where mm -hmm. a lot of it seems the focus goes is like is the body, you know, it's it's all about the body. Whether like is the body right or is the body big enough? Is mm -hmm. the body small enough? Yeah. When, and we're not even that much talking about, you know, the other things that are important. Right. I know that doesn't happen all the time, but yeah, that's just the the plain. The, the the existing system or playing field is just way off. Yeah. I just want so, us yeah. to, like, get the power yeah. and tell them that we refuse to, to be seen in the way that they're making us, like, look. You know? Right. I because just, yeah. we're everyday people. I mean, like, we fall in love. We experience, <laughs> yeah. you know, grief. I mean, so for me, it's like... It, Cast me as the love interest. I mean, maybe for the first 10 seconds, mm -hmm. people would be like, oh my gosh, there's a plus size love interest. <laughs> I promise you, after that 10 seconds, right. all of that is out the window because you're just going to see a woman mm -hmm. who has found the love of her life and just wants it to work. Right, right. Like, all of that other and who stuff deserves, is going to be out the window. Who deserves it? Because that's exactly. another thing. Cause right. some, some of the times when they, the few times they do like a plus right. size, they're like, oh, but she doesn't, she's not worthy. Yeah, but exactly. I want to mm -hmm. see a plus size woman be like, I am worthy, and I will not lower my standards, right. and I'm right. not, you know what I mean, right. and have have that that love interest work for her, exactly. You know, and no. you know what I mean. Like exactly. we just don't see that stuff. So. Well, that's In why you 2019, y'all. That's why you like, yeah. both of you are you know writing your own and making your own stuff. I that's mean, right. it seems like that's almost, and you guys can school me on this, but that might be the better way than try to work within the system. Yeah. Because the system totally. is so um, skewed yeah. that it's almost better to like maybe go outside of For, it and just, yeah. hey, here's my, here's my yeah. own show. They're and so you, you afraid know. to take a risk with us. They're so afraid because they're like, there's these formulas of what works. Yeah. And so to have a plus, oh, right. you know, we're going to jeopardize, you know, you know, ticket sales or right. whatever. But yeah. I think you're right in the sense of if we start showing um, or just creating and see the 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 responses, mm -hmm. they're they're not going to have any choice but to look. They're going to respond to that. That's what they respond Money, to is right. like, what's happening in, with the masses. Oh. What are they doing? So the yeah. more we create and the more people, everyone is like oh I love this yes yes like, people are going to connect to realness at the end I of the so. day it's so, so true if we put out some real stuff that people connect to I think that will start creating the buzz mm -hmm. and then they will have to pay attention because it's exactly. the masses that's totally talking. but I agree we need to do more, more yeah of that. Well, and that's why are. I love Lizzo by the way I do yeah. love Lizzo oh my god I mean I love Lizzo but like the fact but that she repeat. she's her <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> she, last night at yeah. our party she was on repeat yes. right? we true. had her our, by the time watched this the party would have been you know a couple weeks ago but at uh my uh, or our cast and crew rap party slash birthday party Lizzo repeat repeat yeah. repeat Lizzo the Lizzo every, oh every time I go to you I was like play Lizzo I know. where's Lizzo <laughs> let's play Lizzo so yeah amazing. but like so she's talented. her own boss too like think about it like she just um you know it was it was right before Coachella. They did hold auditions for plus size dancers, and they went through the agency talent, you know, talent the, the the way that you're told to go through. And Lizzo, you know, she had that dance audition, and she was like, "Oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on now." So the very next day, she was like, "I was sent thin, like Hollywood's idea of curvy <laughs> fat girls." is not reality. And she was like, I'm going to have my own auditions. Forget <laughs> yeah. managers, forget agents. I want fat girls because I know fat girls can dance. I know fat girls can shake it and move and I want to see what you got. So she held her very own casting call 
had nothing That's to do so with dope. going through the the streamline. And like it was, she had a huge. It was a huge. It hit. was so right. amazing. Yeah, that, oh, it was. Oh, it was yeah. Amazing. And like, look at her amazing. with her. I love seeing the dancers, and it's women of color, yes. and it's women of size. Yes. And yes. she she is she's putting that platform out there because she's like, you you will not unsee us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I just feel so good. When I see it. <laughs> yeah, I that performance was, I was just like, the crying. VMAs? Yes. The v oh, gosh. I was, yeah. I was like, yes, I was I on repeat. I mean, yeah. I just. I was like, Lizzo is, is the sun. She, she is the She's basically the biggest, I mean, no pun intended also, but she is by far the, the biggest thing going on, I feel like. Because like when you see a lot of the other pop stars there, I mean, big ones, yeah. you know, that so many people know, I feel like they still are kind of. Totally. You know, turning it over yeah. to Lizzo right now. Yeah. Oh, moment. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, even Never like, props. yeah. Rihanna. Well, even Beyonce. Rihanna is saying she wants to work with Lizzo and not even, it's so funny how like, like, I love this kind of stuff, but like, they're not even doing it in a formal way. Like, she's being interviewed from like E! E! Entertainment or whatever and, um, or Entertainment Tonight and they're, and Rihanna's like, oh, I want to work with Lizzo. I want to do a song with Lizzo and they're just yes. doing it through social media. And I'm just like, that is so fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, but, um, so have you been to auditions or do you, are you, do you even go to these type of auditions anymore? Are you sent out for diet commercials or anything like that? Or has that always been something that hasn't been brought up to you? I, like, I haven't. Oh. Um, and I, I don't want to at mm -hmm. all. So like, you never were like, really? Yeah. I, yeah. it's so funny. Cause like we bring on a lot of the actresses from the show and yeah. everyone's like, nope. And I'm yeah. like, am I the only <laughs> one that they're like, like this you... girl, like I, and I'm like I thought all of us would have the same, it's, but it's yeah. it's probably better that we don't have the same story. Yeah. But I'm not kidding you. That is mainly what I've been yeah. out, sent yeah. out for is diet commercials out here. Yeah, like and it's just been, and fi until the, finally I said no more. I'm not doing these. Yeah. You right. know, yeah. yeah, good for you. Well, in the first two episodes too, we 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 hit that. We did, yeah. Unpassable, and then also in uh, Rochelle's mm -hmm. episode where you guys are talking about. The, uh, yeah. Diet commercials. Right. Oh so. yeah. Yeah. No, they're awful, and it's so funny because like most of them, they do make you stand there either in your underwear or a bathing suit, and and then tell tell the camera how awful you feel about yourself and how it's ruined your life. Mm. Yeah. And no wonder I didn't book any of them because I was never convincing because my life was not ruined by being fat. <laughs> like I was always like. Like, right, like, 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 mm. I am so unhappy <laughs> about my, I'm like, no, I'm not. I yeah. love me. I love myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but it's just a little crazy. But, um, well, what else, Matt? Matt? Well, I was just going to say, cause I know he's, I can feel that his questions are coming. Oh no, no. I was going to say <laughs> in the episode, um, was there, was there a certain part, um, or a certain line or a certain moment that, that really caught you? Because what I really like about that episode is it does. Like you were saying, go on kind of a journey where you're you're one yeah. way, and then it it turns at least one or two times, and then I mm -hmm. love how it ends, mm -hmm. where you guys kind of find a middle ground there. But right. was there was there one point or or one line that or moment that kind of you know got you? Um, I, I think it's I, I kind of hit on it earlier about the whole vulnerability part, but mm -hmm. I think the fact that when she came out there and it was basically like, look, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not going to get the, the leading lady and all of that. Like, I just th that it just I just relate so much to that. Mm -hmm. And I think that that line is is so real for so many of us. Yeah. That, you know, it's just, it's hard out here, but like I was saying, we don't have to be crabs in a burrow and trying to pull mm. each other down, um, you know, but it, it, it has been an emotional journey for me, this this whole trying to pursue acting in Hollywood mm. and being yeah. put in a box or only getting called in. If I play one more, uh, you know, um, you know, comical best friend or whatever, yeah. like, yeah. I mean. What do you get sent out? Is that what you get sent out for? Yeah. Is the, the comical best right. friend? Yeah, comical okay. best yeah. friend yeah. or the, the sassy security guard mm -hmm. or, you know, and. It's like, no, don't get me wrong. I have fun now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They, they, there's some fun roles. Don't right. get me wrong. But it's like, I feel like I'm a very versatile actress. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can do comedy, drama. Mirrors is a drama. You are so such you a drama. Get... You are so, <laughs> like, yeah. You are. Thank you. Yeah. And I just want those opportunities. Yeah. And it's like, you, people don't understand what we go through as right. actresses. We put so much time and energy uh, into right. this craft, and into you put this career. Out there. And they're not yes. creative enough because they see our curly hair. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? They say, oh, curly means comedy. Yeah. You no, know? exactly. we actually can be serious too. We have oh, a meltdown. Yeah. You know, 
we like, can do yeah. it all. We can <laughs> so, totally do it all. Yeah. And that's well, what I want is for yeah. us to have those opportunities to do it all. Yeah. Well, in my show, her character is, um, and of course, like, if this is a mini digital series and mainly because of budget, like, because it's like, I had to pay for it. But anyway, um, in the f- going forward, we, we will have bigger budgets. But her character, the way it was written, our dynamics are is that she is the star. Like if we, there is an audition, she books it. Like she's mm-hmm. the one who you do. She yeah, does get yeah. it. But maybe possibly my character gained a little more wing. She's going. Wait a second. Wait. She's not big enough. Like uh-huh. yeah. But you are definitely the star in my world. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're the you're the one <laughs> I have yeah. to always be like. Oh, yeah, I can't get anything it. if she's here. Well, yeah, because yeah. yeah. you even have that look. I think when you come up there and you're you're like. Oh, it's Whitney, and then you yeah. have to like because she's have to the one who's been busy. On. She's put the, your armor her on. character's yeah. been busy all summer, booking and everything, and I'm the one that's been like, I just kind of got an agent, yeah. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's how I see you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Her character is that though. She does. I mean, whenever she goes out, she mm-hmm. does book and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you're the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, uh. she's like, that's right. That's who I am. I love it. Well, so how long have you lived here? You've been here. I've been here for about uh, eight years. Eight years. Now. So did you did you come from Kentucky to here? Or did you go anywhere else? No, did you... I came straight from Kentucky. Okay. It's so funny. I had got laid off of my job. I had been with for six years, mm-hmm. and I was looking around Kentucky, and I love Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I love where I'm from. Right. But I was like, I feel like I've kind of outgrown. Kentucky. <laughs> I need to. And so I was like, you know, I decided to go back to grad school. Mm-hmm. So I went to grad school. I was looking at cities big cities and just LA California just mm-hmm. made sense I could always picture myself in mm. California oh. so I packed up my little jeep and drove across <laughs> country I'd never yes. been here before wow. I knew like one person but right. wow I've been here did like, you did you move here by yourself yeah, See, that, well, yeah, literally, I see, yeah. like was driving three days across country in the jeep wow. by myself. My mom was livid, but I was just like, <laughs> I, I got this, got, I'm ready. I, I, got, I was like, wow. yeah. but you had already in Kentucky. Um, you had you because I know you said you love theater. Oh, I'm assuming yeah. you were like do, doing tons of theater in Kentucky. Yeah. So you already had some acting experience. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. I started doing. Uh, I did talent shows in elementary school. Did skits, but <laughs> in middle school, I started doing community theater at a mm. local community. Mm-hmm. Community theater, mm-hmm. and then after that, I went to a youth performing arts uh, uh, high school and went on okay. to college. So I've been doing it. That's right. why I'm it's like, this blood. has been a long yes. journey. So, but, what do you? Ooh. Is your like? Do you prefer theater or for film, TV, or what, how do you feel? What's your theater will always be my first love. I haven't done it in a while. I was actually just talking to someone uh, yeah. the other day about it. I haven't done it in a while. Right. It will always be my first love. Girl. But there is something about film and television that I do love and yeah. appreciate. But yeah, that theater, different. that live experience is just the adrenaline. Preach, girl. Yeah. That, that you're speaking to my heart. Theater yes. is my home. Yes. Like if I'm on a stage, I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. You know? And a set, a set is second to that. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. But right. that. So stage yeah. and that idea that like you only have like not to quote Alexander Hamilton musical <laughs> but you've only got one shot you've yeah. got that one shot to get it right yeah. and you will never repeat that performance ever again yeah. and you will never be in front of that audience that same right. exact those people in the audience that that uh, like the whole equation of it yeah one time there's no take two you know? yeah no uh, no uh, and the energy's right. different every night no, like that's true you know it's what i mean very, yeah yeah no i, I love theater, it. it's special it's so special to me yeah. i feel that not to be pretentious but i feel <laughs> that like those of us who come from the theater world and and segue into film and tv i think that we might have more layers about us that are more complex Oh yeah, you know what I mean. As opposed to, because it's easier for us to transition than film, TV that actors to go to stage. Yeah. yeah, it's not as easy for them, you no. know. And um, no. they don't usually do as well. Yeah, you know. But we have the ability to do to, to do both. Too. I'm usually told to pull back. Actually, with yeah. film and TV, they're yeah. like, "Can you smile less? Can you be you a know?" Because yeah. I'm a lot. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. My yeah. facial expressions. That's one thing where they're like, "Okay, Tony, <laughs> I'm like, I'm the theater. What are we doing today?" Yes, but they're like, oh, I know. So they're like, right. not for an audience of a thousand, <laughs> right? An audience for one. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I so agree. Yeah. No, this is so great. We're just alike. Yeah. Yeah. We're twins. We're twins. Uh. Oh my God. Do you do improv? 
you know, I've just started doing improv. Okay. Um, yeah. If it does scare me a little bit, really, though, because I'm someone who I like to be prepared. Mm -hmm. I like to be know what's gonna happen, so right. that way all my ducks are in a row. Right. So then you tell me oh, I don't know what's going to happen or mm -hmm. where this is going. Right. It does give me some anxiety. But when I've done it, I've been really good. But it's just getting to do it or signing up for an improv class. Right. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Do you do yeah. improv? I, I haven't done it lately. Oh, yeah. I haven't done it lately. But improv is like, um, I, it's, it's not, I don't want to use the word scary, but it's like, I'm so thoughtful about my process. Improv you can't ask these questions. You have to say yes. Like one of the first rule is you can't say no in yeah, improv, yeah. right? And for me, scare, right? as yeah. soon as somebody says you want this glass or, or, you know, I'm already going, well, why are you offering it to me? <laughs> What's in it? Um, did you spin in it? Are you my friend or are you my enemy? Like I'm already just like, I'm asking too many questions yeah. instead of going, sure. Oh my God. And yeah. this is what, you know, it's a magic elixir and now it's I'm a so plane. Me. You know what I'm I mean? So like analytical. <laughs> like I gotta like, yeah, one thing goes to the next and <laughs> I don't even get a word out because I don't went on this whole tangent of like, okay, like you yeah. in the glass. Where do yeah. From? Yeah. Because we're so about the whole process. <laughs> like I have a sketch comedy group I'm in and they tease yes. me a lot. <laughs> They're like, Delany, because if I, basically the rule is if you write your sketches, you also have to direct them. And um, like, they're like, if one, of them, one of my friends in the sketch comedy group, she's like, Delany, you know, I've only come from an improv sketch comedy background, oh. but you literally have like made me realize, yes, you have to have a character. Okay, oh. she's like, but you like go so deep with it. Like, <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? And like, what are your thoughts? In, or what, who are your parents? And what? Where are you from in this country? Are you even from this country? Like, I make them go through all this, and it's just sketch comedy. Yeah. And she's like, and all I think is, oh. I'm a fish out of water or like she just goes straight to the yeah. surface of it as opposed to digging in. So they kind of tease me because right. that's not actually the natural way, but I think it makes you a better actor all around. If you yeah. Do that, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then I, I think, think coming from a theater background, like character analysis, we're yeah. always taught to like, who, who are you? What happened before this, mm. uh, this scene happened? Like we're always yes. taught to like, the preview. Yeah, you gotta know I'm everything. all about the preview. Yeah. What's the preview? Exactly. It makes you a better actor. It, it if you really don't know does. where you came from before you went to that room then you ain't gonna know what you're no, doing in the room right no, it's gonna make a huge difference on your choices how you say the line i mean so i get it I'm yeah like, that's why I you got it on the same page <laughs> yeah so are there any actors actresses you look up to or who you who inspire you or um, besides yourself i right yeah i, I love sandra bullock mm -hmm. and i love meryl streep i mean I yeah know everyone says her but no, she, both yeah. of them i just i love them um their their ability i mean even with sandra and she's known for comedy but she can do drama too. I mean, yeah. she can do it all. Yeah. Um, so those two, um, and then I love Angela Bassett. I just love the heart and soul uh, that goes into her work. Angela oh, Bassett, yes. the vampire, by the way. She oh never ages. Gosh. I know, right? Uh, like, <laughs> I'm like, I mean, yeah. I'm just so. It's funny too because like we are not about ageism at all. Right. Like I'm gonna be great with getting older, but right. when I look at her, I'm like, really, Angela, <laughs> making us all look worse. She looks I mean, so good. Dang, yeah. right? Yeah. She wow. Took care of her so, she really sure. does. Yeah. Have you ever seen Orphan Black, by the way? No. I don't remember the name of the actress of Orphan Black, but uh -huh. that lady, she has got a crazy range of acting. Like, I think you oh, would appreciate really? it. Cause okay. I'm you have a wide you. range yeah. for, you know, because yeah. we saw you as a serious, dramatic actress, but you, yet she gets cast as comedy. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you would appreciate this okay. lady's, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I, um, I feel like I've only talked to you for five minutes, but we're already done. Oh, like, wow. our time's up. Really? Our time's right. up. Oh, yeah, this is nuts. Fast. Wow. So, um, let us, well, we know about about mirrors yeah. um is there anything else upcoming oh, well she's too fat yeah. but like anything yeah. else you want to tell us about or um right now i'm just writing uh doing some more writing mm -hmm. i'm writing a piece on mental health so yes. that's just kind of what i'm working on now oh. i'm gonna be making sure i reach out to folks i'm trying to bring you know people i know on board okay yeah. and y'all should talk because he's working right. on a no, screenplay we, we were talking yeah. a little about, oh, about writing we already yeah. talked yeah. Yeah. this is la that's what we do we already network yeah. well yeah. uh that's awesome <laughs> and she's also uh -huh. 
um, a member of Woku Women of Color Unite, the JTC yes. list. Yes. Yeah. yes. We are Great very community. proud to have you. Yes. Yeah. If you have to officially get on that list, I'm calling you right yes. now. Okay, yeah. Because yes. that list is only going to help you. Yes. You're going to get right. calls, you're girl. Right. Yeah. So um, I'm happy that we have you from that as well. Yes. And then um, where can people find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at Rochelle Candice. Mm -hmm. That's R O S H E L L C A N D I S. Rochelle Candice, my first and middle name. Um, yeah, on IG. Okay. Right. Oh, wait. Yeah. No Facebook or Facebook? Uh, Facebook, uh, Rochelle McKeevy. Got it. Yes. Okay. Or is that, McKeevy. not to put that, is that your personal? Or, or sorry. Yeah, yeah, it is. You only follow her. <laughs> Y'all don't try to be making friends with her okay. unless she wants you to. <laughs> right. But you can always hit that follow, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, For her uh, update. Yes. Okay. She's like, Dunny, I just want uh, friends and family. Yeah, I get that. She's like, I only said IG for <laughs> a reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, Dunny puts people on the spot. She puts people on the spot. KT's sometimes. funny because, like, when KT and I are on here, a lot of times I'll be like, if we're having a blast, you should come over. KT's address is. And she's like, no. <laughs> Stop it right now, Melanie. Right. I've done that a couple there times. There is a line somewhere. Somewhere is. there's a line. Who wants to come over? Yeah. Like, nobody's watching. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, they're watching. Right? Yeah. I know. Well, we would love to have you on again. Oh, I would love to She, be Her character will be continuing on oh. She's Too Whitney. Bad. Whitney. Because yes. she will always be my frenemy. Even yeah. though we had a moment, yeah, that doesn't mean it yeah. lasts. Because yeah. we got a little, a little bonding moment there. Yeah, yeah we did. Over Oprah. Kind yeah. Of. yeah, Oprah. Oh, yeah. Oprah. That, that Everybody got a, that feels got a good that. laugh, it too. That, yeah, people did. love that. Yeah. Because it, you can relate to that. Yeah. Can't you? Oh, Oprah, yeah. we can relate. And the one part of Oprah's world that all of us can relate to is that. Yeah. So, and, and she is a queen. Yeah. And let's be honest. If she can't do it, <laughs> nobody can. <laughs> she got, all, she got all, the, all the tools to do it, right? Oh, yeah. Oprah. Oh, my gosh. But we will definitely have you back. Um, Y'all, uh, everybody who just watched the episode, let us know how you loved this thing here. So tell us. Give us the feedback. Better yes. not be negative. I was just uh, See, I'm going to bat for you. Uh, so, yeah. You. <laughs> They'll probably be like, you they're maybe. probably like, she was great, but you tell me. <laughs> you on the other hand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Let's, let's, do, a let's do a spin off. Let's do a spin off. Right? Oh, my every God. Episode. And then she'll be like, that's why I get the roles and you don't. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, all right. This was awesome. Thank oh, you so yeah. much. Thank you guys for having me. Yes. For the thank opportunity. You. Thank you. No, oh, thanks for coming. Girl, you gave us an opportunity. <laughs> we need to get really deep into that yeah. that episode. That was That's intense. probably our deepest episode. Very yeah. intense. And we yeah. didn't like we didn't even know each other before that. And no. we just, not a lot of time for rehearsal. Yeah. Barely anything. It was actually. the first thing we shot. And we were literally yeah. having to go at it with each other yeah. and knowing each other for five minutes. Yeah. That was nuts. So yeah. I give us each an Oscar yeah. right here, Absolutely. right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh yay, good day. Do you yeah. wanna say do you wanna close us out? Uh, well you can find us at what Fat TV world um on ig and also on facebook and twitter. we have a twitter account now we too do. right yep. is that fat tv world oh, it's yeah. all fat tv world, everything's right? fat tv world and then that's matt matt and i'm telling everyone knows us so yeah. like yeah well yeah we'll get this all worked out <laughs> <laughs> it's so much social media so anyway anyway great time great guests yeah. all right so we will see y'all next week bye, bye.